In mathematics, the Cauchy Schwartz inequality, also known as the Cauchy Bunyakovsky Schwartz inequality, is a useful inequality encountered in many different settings, such as linear algebra, analysis, probability theory, vector algebra, and other areas. It is considered to be one of the most important inequalities in all of mathematics. The inequality for sums was published by Augustin Louis Cauchy, 1821, while the corresponding inequality for integrals was first proved by Victor Bunyakovsky, 1859. The modern proof of the integral inequality was given by Hermann Amandus Schwartz, 1888. Topic. Statement of the inequality The Cauchy–Schwartz inequality states that for all vectors u and v of an inner product space it is true that u v 2 u u v v display style langle math bf u math bf v wrangle caret 2 leq langle math bf u math bf u wrangle cdot langle math bf v math bf v wrangle where display style langle c d o t c d o t wrangle is the inner product. Examples of inner products include the real and complex dot product. See the examples in inner product. Equivalently, by taking the square root of both sides and referring to the norms of the vectors, the inequality is written as u. V U V Display style Langle Math BF U Math BF V Wrangle LEQ Math BF U Math BF V Moreover, the two sides are equal if and only if U Display style Math BF U and V display style math BF V are linearly dependent meaning they are parallel one of the vectors magnitudes as zero or one as a scalar multiple of the other if you 1 you n element of C Display style u underscore one l dots u underscore n in math b c and v one v n element of c display style v underscore one l dots v underscore n in math b c and the inner product is the standard complex inner product, then the inequality may be restated more explicitly as follows, where the bar notation is used for complex conjugation u 1 v 1 plus plus u n v N two U one two plus plus U N two V one two plus plus V N 2 
display style u underscore one bar v underscore one plus c d o t s plus u underscore n bar v underscore n carrot two l e q u underscore one carrot two plus c d o t s plus u underscore n carrot two v underscore one carrot two plus c d o t s plus v underscore n carrot two or I equals one N U I V I two J equals one N U J two K equals one N V K two Display style left sum underscore I equals one carrot N U underscore I bar V underscore I right carrot two L E Q sum underscore J equals one carrot N U underscore J carrot two sum underscore K equals one carrot N V underscore K carrot two Topic Proofs Topic First Proof Let U Display style U and V Display style V be arbitrary vectors in a vector space over F display style math b f with an inner product where F display style math b f is the field of real or complex numbers. We prove the inequality u v u v Display style big Langle U V Wrangle big LEQ U V and that equality holds if and only if either U Display style U or V Display style V is a multiple of the other, which includes the special case that either is the zero vector if V equals zero. Display style V equals zero. It is clear that there is equality, and in this case, U display style U and V display style V are also linearly dependent, regardless of U display style U so the theorem is true similarly if U equals 0 display style U equals 0 one henceforth assumes that V display style V is non-zero let Z equals U minus U V equals U minus U V V V V Display style Z equals U U underscore V equals U F R A C Langle U V Wrangle Langle V V Wrangle V Then, by linearity of the inner product in its first argument, one has Z 
v equals u minus u v v v v v equals u v minus u v v v v v equals 0 Display style Langle Z V Wrangle equals left Langle U FRAC Langle U V Wrangle Langle V V Wrangle V V right Wrangle equals Langle U V Wrangle FRAC Langle U V Wrangle Langle V V Wrangle Langle V V Wrangle equals zero. Therefore Z displaystyle Z is a vector orthogonal to the vector V displaystyle V indeed Z displaystyle Z is the projection of U displaystyle U onto the plane orthogonal to V display style V we can thus apply the Pythagorean theorem to u equals u V V V V plus Z Display style U equals FRAC Langle U V Wrangle Langle V V Wrangle V plus Z which gives U two equals U V V V two V two plus Z two equals U V two V two two V two plus Z two equals U V two V two plus Z two U V two V two Display style U carrot two equals left FRAC Langle U V Wrangle Langle V V Wrangle right carrot two V carrot two plus Z carrot two equals FRAC Langle U V Wrangle carrot two V carrot two carrot two V carrot two plus Z carrot two equals FRAC C Langle U V Wrangle carrot two V carrot two plus Z carrot two GEQ FRAC Langle U V Wrangle carrot two V carrot two and after multiplication by V two Display style V carrot two and taking square root, we get the Cauchy Schwartz inequality. Moreover, if the relation in the above expression is actually an equality, then Z two equals zero. Display style Z caret two equals zero. And hence, z 
equals zero display style z equals zero the definition of z display style z then establishes a relation of linear dependence between u display style u and v display style v on the other hand if u display style u and v display style v are linearly dependent then there exists c element of f display style c in math b f such that u equals c v display style u equals c c d o t v since v does not equal 0 display style v n e q 0 then u v equals c v v equals c v 2 equals c v 2 equals c v v equals u v Display style Langle U V Wrangle equals Langle C C D O T V V Wrangle equals left C V carrot two right equals C V carrot two equals C C D O T V V equals U V This establishes the theorem Topic Second proof. Let U display style U and V display style V be arbitrary vectors in an inner product space over C display style math B C. In the special case. V equals zero. Display style V equals zero. The theorem is trivially true. Now assume that V does not equal zero. Display style V n e q zero. Let lambda element of C display style lambda in math b c be given by lambda equals u v v two display style lambda equals langle u v wrangle v caret two then zero U minus Lambda V two equals U U minus Lambda V U minus U Lambda V plus Lambda V Lambda V equals U U minus Lambda V U minus 
lambda u v plus lambda lambda v v equals u 2 minus lambda u v minus lambda u v plus lambda lambda v 2 equals u 2 minus u v 2 v 2 minus u v 2 v 2 plus u v 2 v 2 equals u2 minus u v 2 v 2 display style begin aligned 0 and leq u lambda c d o t v caret 2 and equals langle u u wrangle langle lambda c d o t v u wrangle langle u lambda c d o t v wrangle plus langle lambda c d o t v lambda c d o t v wrangle and equals Langle U U Wrangle Lambda Langle V U Wrangle Overline Lambda Langle U V Wrangle plus Lambda Overline Lambda Langle V V Wrangle and equals U carrot two Lambda Overline Langle U V Wrangle Overline Lambda Langle U V Wrangle plus Lambda Overline Lambda V carrot two and equals U U carrot two FRAC Langle U V Wrangle carrot two V carrot two FRAC Langle U V Wrangle carrot two V carrot two plus FRAC Langle U V Wrangle carrot two V carrot two and equals U carrot two FRAC Langle U V Wrangle carrot two V carrot two End aligned. Therefore, zero U two minus U V two V two Display style zero LEQ U carrot two FRAC Langle U V Wrangle carrot two V carrot two or U V U V Display style Langle U V Wrangle LEQ U V if the inequality holds as an equality, then U minus Lambda V equals zero Display style U Lambda C D O T V equals zero and so U minus Lambda V equals zero. Display style u lambda c d o t v equals zero. Thus, u display style u and v display style v are linearly dependent. On the other hand, if U display style U and V display style V are linearly dependent, then U V equals U V 
Display style Langle U V Wrangle equals U V as shown in the first proof. Topic More proofs. There are many different proofs of the Cauchy Schwartz inequality other than the above two examples. When consulting other sources, there are often two sources of confusion. First, some authors define to be linear in the second argument rather than the first. Second, some proofs are only valid when the field is R display style math b R and not C display style math b C topic special cases topic titus lemma Titu's lemma, named after Titu Andreescu, also known as Titu lemma, Engels' form, or Sadrakian's inequality, states that for positive reals, one has i equals one n u i two i equals one n v i i equals 1 n u i 2 v i Display style FRAC left sum underscore I equals one carrot N U underscore I right carrot two sum underscore I equals one carrot N V underscore I LEQ sum underscore I equals one carrot N FRAC U underscore I carrot two V underscore I it is a direct consequence of the Cauchy Schwartz inequality, obtained upon substituting U I equals U I V I display style U underscore I equals FRAC U underscore I SQRT V underscore I and v i equals v i display style v underscore i equals sqrt v underscore i this form is especially helpful when the inequality involves fractions where the numerator is a perfect square Topic R two ordinary two dimensional space. In the usual two dimensional space with the dot product, let v equals v one v two. Display style v equals v underscore one v underscore two and u equals u one u two display style u equals u underscore one u underscore two. The Cauchy Schwartz inequality is that u v 2 equals u v cos theta 2 u 2 v 2 
Display style Langle U V Wrangle carrot two equals U V cos theta carrot two LEQ U carrot two V carrot two where theta display style theta is the angle between u display style u and v display style v the form above is perhaps the easiest in which to understand the inequality, since the square of the cosine can be at most 1, which occurs when the vectors are in the same or opposite directions. It can also be restated in terms of the vector coordinates v 1 v 2 u 1 Display style v underscore one v underscore two u underscore one and u two display style u underscore two as u one v one plus u two V two two U one two plus U two two V one two plus V two two Display style U underscore one V underscore one plus U underscore two V underscore two carrot two LEQ U underscore one carrot two plus U underscore two carrot two V underscore one carrot two plus V underscore two carrot two Where equality holds if and only if the vector U one U two display style U underscore one U underscore two is in the same or opposite direction as the vector V one V two display style V underscore one V underscore two or if one of them is the zero vector Topic R N N dimensional Euclidean space. In Euclidean space, R N display style math b R caret N with the standard inner product, the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality as I equals one n u i v i 2 i equals 1 n u i 2 i equals 1 n v I two display style left sum underscore I equals one carrot n u underscore I v underscore I right carrot two l e q left sum underscore I equals one carrot n u underscore I carrot two right left sum underscore I equals one carrot n v underscore I carrot two right the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality can be proved using only ideas from elementary algebra in this case. Consider the following quadratic polynomial in x x 0 
u 1 x plus v 1 2 plus plus u n x plus v n 2 equals u i 2 x 2 plus 2 u i v i x plus v i 2 Display style zero L E Q U underscore one X plus V underscore one carrot two plus C D O T S plus U underscore N X plus V underscore N carrot two equals left sum U underscore I carrot two right X carrot two plus two left sum U underscore I V underscore I right X plus sum V underscore I carrot two. Since it is non-negative, it has at most one real root for x. Display style x. Hence, its discriminant is less than or equal to zero. That is, u i v i two minus u i 2 v i 2 0 display style left sum u underscore i v underscore i right caret 2 sum u underscore i caret 2 sum v underscore i caret 2 leq 0 which yields the cauchy schwartz inequality topic l2 for the inner product space of square integrable complex valued functions one has r n f x g x D x two R N F x two D x R N G x two D x Display style left int underscore math b r carrot n f x overline g x d x right carrot two l e q int underscore math b r carrot n f x carrot two d x int underscore math b r carrot n g x carrot two d x. A generalization of this is the Holder inequality. Topic Applications Topic Analysis The triangle inequality for the standard norm is often shown as a consequence of the Cauchy Schwartz inequality, as follows, given vectors x and y x plus Y two equals x plus y x plus y equals x two plus x y plus y 
x plus y two equals x two plus two re x y plus y two x two plus two x y plus y two x two plus two x y plus y two equals x plus y two display style begin aligned x plus y carrot two and equals Langle x plus y x plus y wrangle and equals x carrot two plus Langle x y wrangle plus Langle y x wrangle plus y carrot two and equals x carrot two plus two operator name re Langle x y wrangle plus y carrot two and leq x carrot two plus two Langle x y wrangle plus y carrot two and leq x carrot two plus two x y plus y carrot two and equals x plus y carrot two end aligned taking square root Roots gives the triangle inequality. The Cauchy Schwartz inequality is used to prove that the inner product is a continuous function with respect to the topology induced by the inner product itself. Geometry <laughs> 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 The Cauchy Schwartz inequality allows one to extend the notion of angle between two vectors to any real inner product space by defining cos theta x y equals x y x y Display style cos theta underscore x y equals frac Langle x y wrangle x y. The Cauchy Schwartz inequality proves that this definition is sensible by showing that the right hand side lies in the interval minus one one and justifies the notion that real Hilbert spaces are simply generalizations of the Euclidean space. It can also be used to define an angle in complex inner product spaces, by taking the absolute value or the real part of the right-hand side, as is done when extracting a metric from quantum fidelity. <laughs> Probability theory Let x, y be random variables, then the covariance inequality is given by var y cov y x cov y x var x Display style operator name var y geq frac operator name cov y x operator name cov y x operator name var x. After defining an inner product on the set of random variables using the expectation of their product x y equals E x y display style Langle x y wrangle equals operator name E x y. The Cauchy Schwartz inequality becomes E x y two E x two E Y two 
Display style operator name e x y caret two l e q operator name e x caret two operator name e y caret two. To prove the covariance inequality using the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality, let mu equals e x display style mu equals operator name e x and nu equals e y display style nu equals operator name e y then c o v x y 2 equals e x minus mu y minus nu 2 equals x minus mu y minus nu 2 x minus mu x minus mu y minus nu y minus nu equals e x minus mu two e y minus nu two equals v a r x v a r y display style begin aligned operator name c o v x y caret two and equals operator name e x mu y nu caret two and equals langle x mu y nu wrangle caret two and l e q Langle x mu x mu wrangle langle y nu y nu wrangle and equals operator name e x mu caret two operator name e y nu caret two and equals operator name v a r x operator name v a r y end aligned where v a r display style operator name v a r denotes variance and c o v display style operator name cov denotes covariance topic generalizations various generalizations of the cauchy schwarz inequality exist in the context of operator theory e.g. for operator convex functions and operator algebras where the domain and or range are replaced by a c asterisk algebra or w asterisk algebra an inner product can be used to define a positive linear functional for example given a hilbert space L two M M display style L caret two M M being a finite measure, the standard inner product gives rise to a positive functional phi display style var phi by phi g equals G one display style var phi g equals langle g one wrangle. Conversely, every positive linear functional phi display style var phi on L two m display style L caret two m can be used to define an inner product f g phi equals phi g f display style langle f g wrangle underscore var phi equals var phi g caret asterisk f where g 
display style g caret asterisk is the pointwise complex conjugate of g display style g in this language the cauchy schwarz inequality becomes phi g f 2 phi f f phi g g display style var phi g caret asterisk f caret 2 leq var phi f caret asterisk f var phi g caret asterisk g which extends verbatim to positive functionals on c asterisk algebras Theorem Cauchy-Schwarz inequality for positive functionals on C asterisk algebras if phi display style var phi is a positive linear functional on a C asterisk algebra a display style a then for all a b element of a display style a b in a phi b a 2 phi b b phi a a display style var phi b caret asterisk a caret 2 leq var phi b caret asterisk b var phi a caret asterisk a the next two theorems are further examples in operator algebra theorem cadison schwartz inequality named after richard cadison if phi display style var phi is a unital positive map then for every normal element a display style a in its domain we have phi a a phi a phi a Display style var phi a caret asterisk a g e q var phi a caret asterisk var phi a n phi a a phi a phi a display style var phi a caret asterisk a g e q var phi a var phi a caret asterisk this extends the fact phi a a 1 phi a phi a equals phi a two display style var phi a caret asterisk a c d o t one g e q var phi a caret asterisk var phi a equals var phi a caret two when phi display style var phi is a linear functional the case when a Display style a is self-adjoint, i.e., a equals a display style a equals a caret asterisk is sometimes known as Cadison's inequality. Theorem modified Schwartz inequality for two positive maps for a two positive map phi display style var phi between c asterisk algebras for all a b display style a b in its domain phi a phi a phi 1 
phi a a and display style var phi a caret asterisk var phi a l e q vert var phi one vert var phi a caret asterisk a text and phi a b two phi a a phi b b display style vert var phi a caret asterisk b vert caret two l e q vert var phi a caret asterisk a vert c d o t vert var phi b caret asterisk b vert Another generalization is a refinement obtained by interpolating between both sides the Cauchy-Schwarz inequality. Theorem: Calabout's inequality for reals zero s t one display style zero lexland s lexland t lexland one i equals 1 n a i b i 2 i equals 1 n a i 1 plus s b I one minus S I equals one N A I one minus S B I one plus S I equals one N A I one plus T B I one minus T I equals one N a I one minus T B I one plus T I equals one N A I two I equals 1 n b i 2 Display style B I G L sum underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I B underscore I big R carrot two Lex slant sum underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I carrot one plus S B underscore I carrot one S sum underscore I equals one carrot N A underscore I carrot one S B underscore I carrot one plus Plus s lexland sum underscore i equals one carrot n a underscore i carrot one plus t b underscore i carrot one t sum underscore i equals one carrot n a underscore i carrot one t b underscore i carrot one plus t lexland sum underscore i equals one carrot n a underscore i carrot two sum underscore i equals one Carrot N B underscore I carrot two. It can be easily proven by Holder's inequality. There are also non commutative versions for operators and tensor products of matrices. Topic See also 
Bessel's inequality Holder's inequality Jensen's inequality Kunita-Watanabe inequality Minkowski inequality equals equals notes <laughs>